啊。Yeah, you know who I am. You fishing with Tuck? Yeah. Let's get it. Got it yeah, round down the back street. Uh, shade pull up in the driveway. Beep beep, 6 a.m. Yeah, belly out of bed, bass in the back seat, rise in the truck bed. Work hard all week, trying to feed my daughter. Ain't had no time to rest, no time to hit the water. Uh. Hey, what's up, fishing folks? This is the long-awaited. World for me, okay. This is world history right here. It's the first time I ever touched a fly ride. Y'all seen it? Get a close up, man. Y'all seen it? I put this bad boy together, and I got my buddy and friend, guy Ethan, right there. He ready? I'm ready. It's time to go fish. It's time to go fish. Get up out the house. It's time to go fish. Go and get the kids. It's time to go fish. You'll be glad you did. It's time to this side, I'm a right hander. So that way your dominant hand is doing all that casting and everything. Your okay, left so. hand can reel it up. So you can actually swap the reel around. You got it then. Don't tell I can tell It'll tell make you. your life easier. <laughs> yep. Yep. Just swap it around. Okay, you try to fly. It's like um, four pounds. Yeah, it's about four pounds. Trout line will do a metal. I like book the vanish. Uh, No matter what leader you use? Nah, not really. Okay, cool. I think I have four or five pound on one of these and four or five on the other. I need to calm down. All right, folks, it's time to go. All right, we're going to put the lines in the water, get them wet. And like I said, I'm here with my buddy Ethan. Uh, he is a guy and owner of a local uh, fly, fly shop. shop. <laughs> Thanks. <You got> it. <laughs> yeah, I got it. This is my show. Yeah. All right, fly <laughs> shop. Uh, Lynchburg, Virginia. All right, it's a, you know what? I walked in one day. Ethan was a nice guy, very friendly. And I came back a couple more times and, hey, let's shoot a documentary. And here we are. So, I mean, I'm, uh, I trust him. You know, most importantly, and uh, we're gonna have a fun. We're gonna have a, we're gonna have a, I'm excited. Excuse me, hold on. We're gonna have fun. We're gonna have a good time. I'm just ready to go fishing, man. Cut, let's go. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> you gotta stay hydrated, folks. I am so. Moving up, you just basically look for a hole or anything that looks like it should have. It, it doesn't take a lot to flip it. It's not like a jig where you have to like actually give it any umption. It's all in the, it just kind of carries itself. It's all in the rod. Yep, just like that. Yeah, ah, that's it. Okay. And then keep your rod tip up a little. That's it. And then you just watch the fly. That's literally it. <laughs> I've been doing all day for some dinner. Yeah, no kidding. It's, uh, most of the time, though, if you can see the bottom clearly, you won't find a fish in there because a bird can see it too and will eat it. <laughs> Bad fishing my whole life. I saw the saltwater fishing a few years ago. I mean, it's ain't easy as it looks. <laughs> can make there it look it easy. <laughs> yep, now make a cast. Make a little shadow puppy dog. What you see people with fly rods do a lot of time is kind of waving it out there. Okay. Like that person. And if I hadn't already caught a fish, you probably would have caught a fish on that. You don't have to probably even have as much line. I mean, that that is kind of like perfect. It's all just line management and learning what's going on there. 
You see how it's like dropping down? Oh, oh fish on, baby! Woo! Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Look at that. You know what? Thanks to a world class coach. Okay. Oh my God, I'm falling in water. Hey, thanks to a world class coach. All right, that's a brownie. That's actually a brook trout. That's a brook trout. Oh yeah, wow, that's a native. That's a native, trout. right? Yep. Oh man. Hey, folks, that's world history right there, folks. All right, look at this waffle. Look at that colors on that fish, man. That's pretty. That's it, folks. Right, oh, going. boy. Yes. You know what? Like old, like old fashioned the way I do, I got to take a selfie with my fish. Like I said, I can go all day long. Well, let's go. All right. So, Ethan. You so know. now, like I told you, this hole up here is going to have one in it. Pretty much any hole that looks like you could sit down in the water is going to have a fish. And so, this, like, probably like this style of fishing, you could catch like 30, 40, 50 fish in a day. But obviously with that one, you got a tree. So that, that's going to be the annoyance. Obstacles, I like it. So with a hole like this one, sometimes you got to get in the water, which is annoying. This is going to be a little cold. But what I would do is I would literally stand like right here in front of this rock. You, it's up to you if you want to get in the water or not. It's going to be a little chilly, I warn you. And then cast up and into the hole and you'll catch a fish. There, there'll Ooh. probably be two or three in there. Oh yeah, two or three? Alright. Now look, what's the ideal eating size of a uh, uh, native? Uh, that would be a small one, the one that you just caught. So they get bigger, they get up to you know 10 inches. That's going to be more of a, an eating size fish. Okay. Sounds good. Hey. But both of these runs, you can see, this is going to have fish because you, you can't really see the bottom. And so no bird, natural predators can't see it to eat them. And then the hole above is also going to have fish in it as well because that acts like a conveyor belt of food. If, if a bug falls onto the water, then a fish is going to come up and eat it. Because the bug gets stuck. That's exactly what you just imitated. It. A bug that got stuck is floating down the water in this giant conveyor belt. And the fish can just sit there on the bottom, and when a bug goes over, they go up and eat it. That, that's what all fly fishing is about. That's why it's easy. I mean, it, you do what you just did, and you'll catch fish all day. So that's part of the fun. But now you got to decide if you want to get cold or not. I ain't coming up here for men. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All this for a fish, all right? Ugh. I'm a country boy, see? Get these socks off. Good thing my wife cut my toenails all the night. Hey. All this for a fish. Alright. But I love it. So yeah. ah, alright. Nobody's allowed to make a cast but me. I 
on there. That was fun. I told you that tree would get on your nerves. I know, man. I, I was like, You're right. Ethan, I'm telling you, that man know his shit. Oh, I know. I'm telling you, a little bit. <laughs> Walking through the woods. Like a crazy man. Getting tangled up on everything. There we go. So if you cast to the faster water, you'll probably have one, my guess would be one fish. That's my guess. And I would just step careful over those uh, logs, you know, you can get a little closer. Yeah, you're good. Okay. And just cast it really slow. You, you had it down there too, so. Yep, I picked the whole thing up into the air. Unless you got stuck on that branch. You might, should be able to pick that branch up. I yeah. Hook. Yep, I keep it all up in the air this time. Yep, and then last one. It'll take a little more time as, you, as you're casting. It takes a fly rod a long time to unfurl. There you go. Four foot up. And then you'll have the next cast. There he is. Uh, there he is. Ah, oh, dang it. You're all right. There it is. There we go. I'll take down. Oh, Pull a little more line out, about another two foot. Oh, you can hit the middle of the river. There he is. He's on, he's on. Oh, <laughs> oh, man. You didn't see him? No, I didn't. <laughs> he ate that thing. He shot it down. Reel it up. Got one here for you. You'll catch him in this hole, though. This is your redemption. Three casts, that's that's pretty dang good. Yep, and just keep that rod tip high. And then recast. Rod fishing ain't no different. I'm hung up just like I would be if I wasn't my kayak. can actually feel it and you know how to fish. It's not hard. I can feel it, man. There you go, that's it. He's gonna eat that. Oh, it might be a little fast. What you can do too is if you want to slide up to those rocks, up on the river right, or that side there. I want to fish. <laughs> I'm trying to catch that one. I'm trying to catch that thing. There he is. Oh, he nudged it. I saw him nudge it. Ah, man. He, 
that's a, that was a really small fit. It bended on it though, it came up and pushed him in the nose. We'll be addicted to fly fishing for a long year. <laughs> I think I, you know, I'm all right. It's yeah. kind of visual, you know, you get to see it all happen. Yeah, and the bass is fun and too, so that's perfect. I mean, I can just see I can go all day. Come on, man. Fight it. <laughs> I ain't playing no games. Yeah, oh no! I can't believe it's like a super like a 45 minutes, but uh, I'm getting the hang of it. They probably eat it right off this left. Uh, this is the same yep. thing. Yep. I'll take a step up and put it right behind that rock. Yep. You don't got to do nothing fancy, just get it there. Yeah. As long as you fished before. <laughs> yeah. If you never fished before, then this is oh. this is a totally another uh, ball game. Uh -huh. Yep. All set. Yeah. Once you get the hang of setting the hook on, there's actually a little road up here. We can walk the road down. Yeah, baby, got one. Come on, man. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, around a little bit. Bam. Nice. Oh. That's a nice, pretty, shiny Virginia brook trout right there, boys and girls. Look. Look, I'm telling y'all. Fly fishing, I've never done it. I just decided to do it one day. Hey, I'm having so much fun. All right. <laughs> Camera shot. I'm having so much fun. He is, too. All right, we're going to keep on fishing. Put him back in the water. There you go, excellent. Oh, I saw where he went. That's what we're fishing with. On oh. my arm. We're just using ones that are yellow. Oh, that's cool. So that's that's literally what's hatching and then the, the fish are eating. It's landed, that dude right there. Landed right on his arm. Yep. It's called matching the hatch, folks. Yeah, there you go. For the non-bass fishing folks, you gotta oh, match yeah. the hatch. <laughs> <laughs> also, oh, cameraman, watch yourself, cameraman. <laughs> this is my show. This is gonna just soak all the water out of there and let it float up again. Oh yeah, can you put that in the camera sort of focus? Oh yeah, you good. Right, so you're making the fly not sink, pretty much. Yep. Oh yeah, okay. Now Great. now you'll start when you cast again, it's gonna stay on the surface. Man, sunshine, a piece of quiet. Feels so good just to be alive. Oh, let me, oh, foul hook right behind the eye. He wanted it bad. He wanted it bad. Too big for your bridges there, little buddy. Oh, look at that water strider. You got anything to mimic that? That's a water strider. I don't know because of uh, that movie with Jackie Chan. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what? I oh, want the tuxedo? Jackie Chan. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I got a rock. You keep hanging at it. Okay, folks. Uh, my guy had to leave. Ethan had to leave. Another obligation. So, but I'm still here. We still rocking this thing, all right? Man, this is the ultimate test. Okay, my teacher's gone. All right, let me see if I can catch a fish on my own. Keep in mind, I'm still, I'm still a virgin. I have no idea what I'm doing. But I do know fish.
That's all I need to go. So before he even left, he told me uh, the fly was sinking. If you give it a quick squeeze, you know, shake a little water off, and there she go. Go down the river again. Let me tell y'all folks coming home, all right? I'm very unconventional. I think outside the box. I do whatever I got to do to catch that fish, right? <laughs> so I will. There we go. Got a sugar that ratchet strike. Open and over again. I don't know. This is what I think. Let's see. Fish come back. You know I'm right. the red markers on the tree, I think that secret code for a fish could be in a spot, you know, so I'm going to test it. Folks, I'm continuing my journey. I think I'm at uh, like four fish now, something like that, four or five fish. Uh, I mean, look, I can do this all day, and I think I just might. All right, y'all get comfortable with your cold beer. With the M&Ms, I like M&Ms. Crispy. All right, so if y'all ever go fishing with me, okay, you better bring some crispy M&Ms. I can't let you in the boat.
feel like I'm storming D Day. <laughs> yeah, look at that baby. Another beautiful rainbow. I mean, brown trout. Yeah, see. I need Ethan here. <laughs> Another pretty fish. You're a little bit dirty. That's beautiful. Let's get that classic smile. Classic tuck smile. I'm dirty, the fish dirty. That was a smaller fish. They uh they were really committed to it like the bigger fish. Was. Man, I'm swear I'm getting good at this, yo. Look, I'm hooked now. I got hold on. I gotta lift that bad boy. Open your mouth. Yeah, like a true bad fisherman would. I don't know about that. Like a true bad fisherman would. I gotta lift that bad boy. There we go. All right, let's give us a kiss. Ah, uh. there you go, buddy. Now. What's up, fishing folks? A um, couple pair of wet shoes, socks, and pants later. It's uh, we're coming to a close <laughs> uh, here. Uh, we saw a snake. I rode up on a snake. The cameraman almost got bit, but I did catch a bunch of fish and I had fun. And um, this is my very first time fly fishing. Well, you can't write this stuff, folks. I, who knew all this would happen? I fell in the river. I caught some fish. Saw a snake. I uh, spent some time with some good people. I mean, look. I'm hooked. That's what it's all about. So I cannot wait to take my daughters fly fishing. Y'all know. Um, what else? I ain't got nothing else to say, man. Like today was a, was a today was a wonderful day. I mean, caught fish, made a couple jokes. You know what I'm saying? Uh, technically, I out caught Ethan because he didn't catch anything. All right. So don't tell him that. But anyway, uh, what else? I don't know. A lot happened. I'm trying to think. I mean, I'm so strong. I'm still wet. As a matter of fact, look. Camera man, hold on, camera man. I can't, I can't do this. My feet cold. All right, all right, now. Whew, that's better. Right, like I was saying, folks. Yeah. So look, I'm going somewhere else. Y'all might see that, you might not. Okay, but I'm bugs, man. Oh yeah, freaking bugs. Little thing, bugs. But when you go fly fishing, you are gonna have fun. You might see a snake. 
you're gonna catch some fish and you're gonna have fun, all right? But uh, all in all, the trauma aside. All the trauma and drama aside, all right? I had a wonderful day. I cannot wait to go fly fishing again. It's gonna be tomorrow. That's how much I love it. So I hope I inspire somebody to get up and go fishing. I hope I inspire somebody that never done this before. Go pick up a fly rod. Go find you a local guide or grandpa, all right? And go fly fishing. It's fun. You'll love it. I'm gone. About the house. It's time to go fishing. Go and get the kids. Go get it's time to go fishing. You'll be glad you did. It's time to go fishing. Yeah. Frog on a lily pad. Uh, flip it deep in the grass. Come on, that lady, look, touch your baby. Hook set, oh yeah, got a bass. Uh, quick, not really man. Look, gotta show all my friends. You know, they flexing on the ground. Yeah, you know who I am. Uh, when I'm on that water, y'all, I just feel so fine.